Hello, today I thought we'd make a little water bowl so we can play with them on our fingers. I think they look rather cute, don't you? For this project, you need to find something circular to draw around. This could be a plate or anything in the kitchen. I have found this bowl. It is about 17 centimetres across. You will also need some brown paper. It could be any brown paper, but I have found this envelope, which is perfect. You will need a glue stick, a black felt tip pen, a brown crayon, and a pair of scissors. So we don't make a mess on mummy's table, place another sheet of paper on top so the glue and crayon doesn't go on the table. Place the circular object on the paper and draw around it. You will now need to cut out the circle. Keep the remaining pieces because you'll need them later to make the ears and the tail with. Take your circle and now fold it into quarters. This is enough for four fold puppets. We now need to cut along those folds. You could make the puppet from the plain brown paper, but I know voles have lovely chestnut coloured fur, so I'm going to colour mine with this lovely brown crayon. I'm going to do it very quickly. Of course, you can take your time and make a lovely job of it. Place the side you have coloured down onto the table and carefully glue along the edge. Pick it up and roll it into your puppet shape. Your finger puppet should look like this. We're going to do the vole's nose next. Unlike mice and rats, water voles have blunt little noses, so we're going to snip the point off. I am going to just draw inside the little nose and make it black and put some black on the outside. And of course, he is going to need two lovely black beady eyes. Your puppet should now look like this. Well, of course, he now needs a tail, some whiskers and some ears. Now the tail on a water bowl is about half the length of his body. So using the rest of the paper, cut yourself out a little tail. Don't forget to colour it on both sides because a water bowl's tail, unlike the rat and mouse, is hairy. So we need to make sure that we've got the beautiful chestnut colour hair on it. We need to cut out two ears, this shape. And again, these will need to be coloured as a water bowl's ears are hairy. We need to make a little fold on the ears so that we can stick them on his face. Remember, the water voles, unlike the mouse and the rat, has very tiny little ears that can be barely seen poking up amongst his fur. Here is the tail ready, and I just need now two whiskers. Cut them out. I'm just going to cross them over like this and pop a little bit of glue to hold them tight. So here we go. Make a little cross and stick. 
Now we need to just stick everything onto our little bowl. So here comes the tail. Hold him up, find where his eyes are, and stick the tail on the top like that. I'm going to give mine a little curl up. There we are. Little bit of blob of glue onto the whiskers and put them underneath his little nose. There we go. Like this. And then the ears. Now I find the ears the hardest bit of all because they are so small. So I'll just put a bit of glue on each of them. And here we are. We're going to pop them on either side. And here we are, one water bowl puppet finished. I hope you have lots of fun playing with him. Mm -hmm.